everyone, this is Gladys with Caxity Creations. I know I've been off uh, this media for a while. I've been super, super busy with end of the year and, you know, uh, Christmas is just around the corner. And um, I've been helping my child, my oldest child at school uh, every day. So that's what's keeping me... Mo keeping most of my time from crafting. Um, I did not finish many of my uh, projects I was supposed to finish, but well, I've been doing some shopping <laughs> and um, I've been uh, trying to organize my mess, which is a never ending thing to do, but, anyways. I just wanted to quickly show you a little haul I've been making um, in the pack in the past uh, weeks. Okay, so I got all the colors available uh, from the jewelry glaze from Martha Stewart. So I got um, two, four, six, eight of them, and this is where I stored them. And then I got the brushes, and then I got two of the tools that they had uh, for seventy percent off. Um, I wish I could have gone when they had 30% off, but was not able. Oh, we went to Citadel today, which is in Los Angeles, and they have a lot of stores. So if you ever happen to be near, um, or be in Los Angeles, I totally, um, suggest you to go to Citadel. My husband and I went Christmas shopping today, mostly for my kids but we happened to end up getting the things for ourselves uh, actually he got me a purse uh, not a purse but a little um, hand what do you call it like a clutch okay anyways um, I got this balsa box with some caramels inside from my um, my daughter's um, teacher because I happen to help her uh, once a week and this is a, a balsa box and I thought it was a very nice shape and um, so I removed the, um, the, the what do you call it oh I'm sorry the label and it came from Trader Joe's so if you happen to have a Trader Joe's you might want to go ahead and check for um, this candy boxes and of course all of the candy are gone all of the candies are gone she gave it she happened to leave it for me on Thursday of last week but they're gone now um, and then okay my husband and I have stopped by a Hobby Lobby because I told him I needed some felt so to build some shoes for my son my youngest son is having a, um, a little rehearsal for Christmas tomorrow and um, I needed felt to, to make some shoes for him but I didn't find any. I went to the one that's closest to my mom and I happened to find these clasps which um, Tammy from Mrs. Crafter One found and I just saw her video today and I was happy to find them. I don't know if they have them the, in the one close to my house. I actually went to it um, two days ago. My husband is on vacation this week, so we've been going up and down everywhere. Okay, and then I found this uh, print tape, which I thought was very cute. It's not washi tape. It's like regular tape. I'm going to show you. It's plastic shapes. I'm sorry, not plastic tape. And this is one of the prints. And then this one with rabbits, and it says happy. Oh, upside down, it's like a doily, and it says happy. And then this one that has the alphabet. And then this polka dotted one, which I thought were really cute. So I'm now going to get rid of the package packaging and then I was making um, okay so my my son is going to be a snowman tomorrow for, for his rehearsal and they requested 
them to be with green scarf, beanie, and gloves. And guess what? I crocheted those items for him. I've never done any gloves before. And uh, as you can tell, they're not perfect. This one is even worse, but this was my first try. And for my first try, I think I did pretty good. Again, I'm I'm happy about it. <laughs> and then I did a scarf. Scarves I've done before. And so this was not difficult for me. Although these uh, stitches were different. Uh, we learn every day, right? Okay. So this is a scarf. And then I made him the beanie. Which this one also, I think I've... Um, I did a double, something double around here, and in that, in that it ended up with a little pointy side, but most of it is perfect. Well, good. Nothing is perfect, right? Okay, so this is his beanie, and I'm really proud about it too, because this is the first time that I crocheted with no loom. I, um, I made one for my oldest son with a loom. But this one I cr hand crocheted. Of course, following tutorials from YouTube. And I really, really love how my whole project ended up. Okay, now I have to repair his pants. Not repair them, but fix them because they're too long and too wide. So that I have a lot of job to do when it's around 1 in the morning. Anyways, so there was a remnant of, um, uh, what do you call it, yarn. And I decided to make this flower, this uh, like three layer flower, and I just made it up. Uh, I didn't follow any tutorial, I just decided I wanted to make something out of it, and this is what came out. <laughs> this flower came out, and I thought it would look really beautiful with flower center like this. Look at it. And actually, this, this is a beanie of my daughter. I did not make this one. This was made from a friend of ours, and look at it, look at the contrast, and of course I have to remove this, but look how beautiful it would look. Okay, let me fix it a bit. And okay, so look how beautiful this would look on a beanie, and look, this is, I don't know how to make this one. Um... If I try, I'm pretty sure I would be able to do it. Um, but she made this flower. And this is the one that I've made. Um, once again, I just... I just started, decided to put um, some uh, stitches in between the flower. And this is what came, came out. And it's only uh, chains. I just put chains all over it. And that's it. Oh, and I want to show you. This is one of the gloves that I've made with a, not a different tutorial. But it's too wide. Look at my hand. And look at that glove. It's, it fits me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I put it on, it'll fit me. And supposedly, I made it for my four-year-old. <laughs> yeah, right. It would. It might fall in by the middle of the uh, of the show. But it fits me perfectly. Hmm. So I might want to do another one for myself, right? They're very, very warm. Anyways, um, and then uh, I just wanted to quickly show you what I have um, found over at my dollar store. Look at these beads. One dollar for this package. So I got that color, this color, this color, and this color. And they had like five more different packages. And then I've been getting the Inca gold. Um, I just I'm just missing I believe the purple one. And then, as I've mentioned, I went to dye so two days ago the one closest to me because I needed more of the of this tape. So I'm working on a few projects. And then I just wanted to quickly mention to you. Um, I'm not sure if this ones, but the ones that are. Uh, like Christmas or 50 cents um, 
50 cents starting today, I guess. So all the Christmas items are 50 cents. And then I found this uh, Jingle Bells over at um, the dollar store as well. And then these are two other items that I've gotten from the Martha Stewart sale. And okay, I've been getting uh, it's I I still have a haul to do. I have lots and lots of things that I have not shown to you because once again I've been really behind on everything. And this is an arty cake that I found for one ninety nine. I thought it was so cute. It's a sugar in the front and nothing on the back. It's just roses. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope you liked my project and um, I am also working on little boxes for my for my son to give out tomorrow. Tomorrow is his last day of school and I decided to punch these shapes which are uh, the snowflake, the snowman and the Christmas tree from the punches, uh, Martha Stewart punches that I got a few weeks ago. So I just stamped from and then I inked all around uh, the little shapes. And hopefully if I do have time, um, I will show the video of the final, um, the final, what do you call it? My final project, and this is the pillow box, which I don't think I've shown that I've gotten the We Are Memory Keepers uh, pillow box um, punch board. So this is what I made. Uh, I made this one, but I, I never, <laughs> I never delivered to my daughter's classmates. So um, I'm going to give. Um, and this one was opened by my son, so. Um, I'll end up making the ones that I already have cut for my youngest classmates because actually my two all this are of um, on vacation already for it's gonna be a week tomorrow my youngest is getting off tomorrow so we're finally going to be on vacation which I'm excited about it because waking up early and being up until after midnight has not has been really hard for me so uh, hopefully I get a lot of rest well anyways I'm talking very low because uh, everyone's sleeping except for my husband but the kids are sleeping so I don't want to bother and wake them up okay I hope you have a great day and if um, and I want to thank all my new subscribers um, I am already at one 194 and I'm really grateful about that and I really thank you all for your support and I hope to bring more videos for you and I hope the new year brings more and more things for for myself and for everyone um, I hope you the best health above all and love love and of course work so uh, we have what we what we have and uh, there's no um, there's no needs for every anyone in the world that's what I hope so um, but I hope that I can uh, talk to you before uh, Christmas and New Year's okay thank you have a great night bye bye